Okay, this is the video instructions for the catapult lab. Again, please make sure you read the instructions very carefully before beginning the lab. Watching the video is not enough. You want to read the directions and watch the video. Please make sure that you have your instruction sheet ready as well as your data table uh, glued into your composition book. Make sure you get that all set up before beginning the lab. So the biggest thing with this lab is being careful with your setup. You are going to want to do this on the floor because your marble is going to roll really far. So um, I have it set up on the lab table because it's just easier for me to show. So I'm going to move my computer down and show you how to get this lab set up. So we're going to be doing Newton's third law and we're going to set up something like a catapult to illustrate Newton's third law. So for your materials, you need a small piece of cardboard. You need some straws. I think I have six straws here. You need three pins like this, a rubber band, some string, scissors, and a marble. Marble is what you're going to be launching here. So in order to get this set up, the idea here is that the catapult is going to be your cardboard and it's going to be on the straws which will help it roll and move easier. What you're going to be launching is the marble. So in order to set this up, we're going to make kind of like a slingshot, I guess. I'm not sure what you want to call it, but you're going to stick your thumbtacks into your board. Ouch. And usually I get a triangle like this. Okay. Now you're going to want to wrap your thumbtack or excuse me, your rubber band around the end ones. Like that. And then it's going to be pulled back Make sure your thumbtacks are in there nice and tight. It's going to be pulled back like this and launch your marble. Well, you don't want to use your hand here. We're actually going to be using a piece of string. So with your string, you're going to cut it into a small piece and make just a tiny little loop like this. You make it kind of as small as you can. Now, this is how we're going to actually launch it. So you're going to weave your string through your rubber band like this. Put your thumb, your rubber band back over your thumbtack and then attach the other end, the string on this. Okay. Then you're going to set the catapult up on here. Let's see if I can not launch it right at my iPad. Um, now the trickiest part of this is you're going to cut the string, but you don't want to interact with the, the cardboard in any way. You want it to be completely free to move as much as possible. So don't hold it and cut it. This is the, the trickiest thing, especially if you don't have great scissors. So I'm going to try, Whoop! and it actually did hit my iPad. <laughs> um, so you'll see that with a good, um, without touching the, the cardboard, it was able to allow the cardboard to move really freely. Now, of course, the iPad or the marbles sh um, shot really far, but another thing that's really important is to see that the cardboard itself actually moved backwards. So one of the measurements you guys are gonna make is to not only measure how far the marble goes, but actually measure how far the catapult moved backwards. Really important to, since you're gonna be doing that, is to mark a starting point. You can use tape or something like that if you want, or just your finger, um, but you wanna mark a starting point so that you can measure how far back the catapult moved. I think that's about it. Good luck.